Welcome to this presentation by ESPN Cricket Info on the best bowling performances of the year in Test Match Cricket. There were some very fine performances and this was the list of nominees that the jury deliberated upon. Here it is. Dale Stain, who in many ways was a standout bowler of the year, his 7 for 51 versus India at Nagpur. Jimmy Anderson had a fine year too, 6 for 17 versus Pakistan at Nottingham. Mohamed Asif, the year ended very differently, 6 for 41 versus Australia at Sydney. Then Mitchell Johnson came out of uh, being dropped in the earlier test to take 6 for 38 versus England at Perth. And then Anderson again, 4 for 51 versus Australia in the second test match. But the performance that the jury rated the best was Dale Stane's 7 for 51 at Nagpur. And Ian, it just capped what in the eyes of many was a great performance from now a genuinely great bowler. Terrific bowler, uh, Dale Stane. Uh, the thing that interests me about those uh, nominations, they were all to do with swing bowling. Now, Mitchell mm. Johnson is the only one who isn't a genuine swing bowler, but that day in Perth, he did get the ball to swing, and that's what made his performance good. So it, it just shows you that if you've got good swing bowlers, and, and it doesn't matter in what era we're talking about, good swing bowlers have always troubled batsmen. And, and I think at the moment the world is very fortunate to have two excellent ones to watch in, in two nominees there. Dale Stone finished up winning the award. I, I'm not sure. He's probably a touch better than Jimmy Anderson. He, he's, a, he's a touch quicker. So if you can swing the ball at a, a slightly quicker pace, then I guess that makes you more dangerous. But we're very fortunate to have two bowlers like Dale Stone and Jimmy Anderson to watch. And the other thing that, that interests me is, you know, uh, there's a quote there from Dale Stane saying, you know, when you pitch the ball up, you might get driven. But that's, that's the, the art of good swing bowling is to, you know, even if you get hit for four, keep pitching it up and take your chances on getting a batsman out. And that's why swing bowling is so important to the game of cricket, because it's such an attacking medium. The batsman might hit a boundary, the bowler might get a wicket. Nothing can be better for the fans. I mean, two number threes here, and both of you know that... If a fast ball comes straight, it's not as, as, as difficult to counter as the ball that moves. And fast bowling with swing is, is what makes Stane so late, special. Late swing too, late swing. Yes. And those two guys do it, Jimmy yeah. Anderson and Dale Stane, <clears throat> late. And also the fact that, you know, South Africa generally have had uh, seamers who would hit the deck. Yes. And, you know, uh, do the clinical stuff outside the off stump. So when I watch Dale Stain, he doesn't look South African. He looks, to me, more like a Pakistani bowler bowling on the flat. Indian or Pakistani pitches and that is what you know actually gets this performance rated so high because the surface was a typical Indian pitch. I don't think it was a first day morning where there was something for Dale Stain and that spell of five wickets and there were a couple of batsmen there who clearly were not in the same league. Yes. At start of the innings as well they were beaten by pace and swing and the length is the most appealing part of his bowling and I think that is the reason why he's able to get wickets of those kinds because then you take the pitch out of the equation which the Pakistanis do wonderfully because they have no choice but to do that. And Dale Stane, it's quite amazing for somebody who comes from South Africa, is able to bowl like this. He doesn't, he doesn't bowl the in-swinger much. He does get reversed later on, but he's predominantly the out-swing bowler. Where do you rate him? You've, you've seen a lot of fast bowlers who swing the ball over the years. But is, is he up there in your book? Oh, yeah, he's, he's up there. I mean, because he, can, he seems to be able to swing it pretty consistently, and, and at a good pace, you know, that makes him difficult. As I say, I think at the moment it's sort of nose to nose with uh, Jimmy Anderson and Dale Stone as to who is the best. When the ball's swinging, those two are standouts, I think. Uh, Muhammad Asif, uh, but he, he's not quite as quick as those two and, you know, sadly he's probably ruled himself out or hopefully he's ruled himself out of cricket uh, forevermore. But... Uh, uh, you know, those two guys, I think uh, it's, it's very difficult to separate them. Sanjay, last one for me. Is he the number one bowler in the world at the moment? I mean, the, ra the rankings say so, but this is a jury decision, so it, it's a more qualitative decision. Yeah, I think he's uh, slightly one notch uh, higher than Jimmy Anderson, and because he swings the ball at that pace, and maybe in the 70s and 80s, the batsmen would have played him differently. But now, with most batsmen looking to plant their front foot down and mm. hit through the line, he becomes even more dangerous. So, yes, Dale Stain, number one today. Number one bowler in the world. And that 7 for 51 at Nagpur, for all those who saw it, was a performance to remember. And Dale Stain is a very deserving winner of the ESPN Cricket Info Award for the best bowling performance in a test match.